सो हे गाइज आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू एच एस अकेडमी सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट एल ई वी एज यू नो दैट एल ई वी मीन्स अ लोकल एक्सॉस वेंटिलेशन सिस्टम ओके सो इन टूडेज वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू कॉम्प्रीहेंसिवली लर्न अबाउट एल ई वी वॉट इज एल ई वी एंड वॉट ऑल ऑफ द इन्फॉर्मेशन इन विच इज़ रिलेटेड टू एल ई वी ओके सो इफ यू आर विजिटिंग टू अवर चैनल फर्स्ट टाइम्स दैन काइंडली सब्सक्राइब टू अवर चैनल विच इज़ एब्सोलूटली फ्री सो लेट्स गेट्स टू द वीडियो सो गैस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड अबाउट एल ई वी वॉट इज एल ई वी सो सी जनरली एल ई वी इज अ acronym for local exhaust ventilation system in workplaces as we know that lots of hazardous processes are going on for example welding smoldering cutting grinding okay sometimes these processes are going on so at that time some amount of flammable vapors gases and uh, particulates are generating okay if these particulates anyhow enter in our body through the inhalation okay because inhalation is one of the route through which contaminants as well as chemicals enter in our body if somehow they will enter in our body they will cause us lots of effect it may be acute as well as chronic effect so we need to avoid that as a employer or as a ehs officer or as a safety professional it's our responsibility to minimize that exposure as we know that the concept of tlv occupational exposure limit threshold limit value so we need to reduce that exposure to the worker up to the acceptable limits okay so to reduce that exposure it is one of the protection system by using that we can reduce that exposure up to an acceptable level after installing that system also we need to carry out testing to check how much level of a particular contaminant is present over any body now here i have drawn one schematic of a local exhaust ventilation system it's a typical okay but it can be configured into multiple types depend upon your need okay if you are working in a small spaces so you can use a flexible type if it is a your permanent workplace you can use it as a fixed type so let me introduce that particular schematic to you after that we will discuss more information about that okay guys it is one of the schematic of lev okay fine now we will discuss first of all the parts of that before going that it is your work desk it means here your worker is getting work he is working over there if you want to do welding he will do that want to do smoldering he will do that want to do grinding he will do that okay this is your work station you can tell it's a work station so first of all first part comes over here is your hood okay it is called a hood it is one of the important part of a local exhaust ventilation system it is one of the hood after that you can see one pipeline is there okay this pipeline is called as ducting or you can tell it's a duct okay afterwards you can see it's a square box okay it is generally called a filter generally in that we have small you can say it's a filter here the bigger particles those who have traveled from here to there they will be separated okay only the small particles and very tiny particles they will be just taken to this fan okay now we have here one fan it may be a centrifugal fan okay so what is the work of that particular fan is to produce capturing velocity cv capturing velocity means see if that travel if that particulates which are generating over there they want to trans they want to get transported from there so there should be some force capturing force should be there okay so that particular force is generated by that particular fan capturing velocity after capturing that this will be directly transferred to over there here we have one flaring stack or you can say it's a stack normal stack what he will do is he will just take out that particles and remove in a cool environment or a normal environment here we have some dl dl means drain lips so what is the work of is that to remove the moisture content from that air which is coming from there okay but we sometimes we don't know what type of processes are going on it may be moisture is present if moisture is present then it can damage to the system it can cause internal corrosion and all so that's why we need to remove that particular moisture which is pre present over there now we need to specifically discuss about these parts because these are crucial because if one of the part is not properly working or damaged then it can affect the total overall performance of the system first is hood now generally in the lev we use generally three types of hood first is your enclosing hood enclosing hood second is capturing hood third is receiving hood okay now what is the meaning of enclosing hood so enclosing hood generally involves like that hood in which your full work processes is enclosed is enclosed now in this case it is not a enclosing hood because here you can see this area is totally empty okay so at the time if we cover that area also okay only this much opening is there that will be called as enclosing hood it means it will be totally covered from all the sides okay only the limited area will be there to put your hands up or for the visibility only so enclosing hood after that capturing hood capturing and receiving hood now capturing hood is fixed at a position at any position it is a stable hood it is a static hood means you have to if you want to do any work you need to just do it here okay it is capturing it is one, one of the static location it will not move from its particular intended location now third is recapturing hood okay now what is you can tell to other name is 
uh, it's a recapturing hood and receiving hood now in receiving hood you can move that particular hood in any direction based upon your work okay if one you want to carry out one work in floor level then you can just take that and put over that but configuration will be different now you understand what is the meaning of food generally it will collect whatever the contaminant cloud is there it will collect it see it is your workstation okay whenever you do any work there will be one cloud one cloud formation is there how you can see that cloud by using tyndall experiment or tyndall lamp okay through the tyndall lamp you can see the movement of that cloud how it is moving so through tyndall lamp you can identify the effectiveness of this hood how much it is capturing how much it is removing okay after that comes here ducting generally we don't go for square ducting generally they have two type of ducting one is square ducting and one is round ducting depend upon its shape initial shape generally we use that type of ducting round ducting now here one case is there that is called tur turbulence generally if you have ducting like that okay if you want to get uh, if you will include your ducting like that sharp bends will be there so there is a effect that is called turbulence in turbulence your general ducting will move like that it will shake okay so if you want to avoid that shake how you can do is if you want to get two ducting mix it is your one of the ducting so you can get it mixed by like that by b movements okay don't go for sharp movements it's a sharp movement generally airflow will be like, will be like that after that it will be like that so there will be some turbulence okay turbulence means shaking of that particular ducting if it shake it can just damage it if it is un unusual shake is there so you can just include them like that so there will be very low turbulence after that comes your filter filter is not too much necessary you can put it to avoid the reaching of bigger contaminants in the fan section which can block the fan after that fan is there after uh, in the fan we have lots of type of velocity static velocity capturing velocity okay so lots of type of velocity is there we will discuss that in later section because it is one of the too much concept and requires the calculations also okay afterwards your stack is there which is generally take the particular contaminant and release it in the environment now guys one important concept comes over there is what is the basically how we can test it because as i told that testing is also there so see guys there are basically two types of testing is there first is qualitative testing and next is quantitative testing qualitative testing in the sense we we have to just visualize that okay if i'm a worker if i'm going over there i want to check it whether it is proper uh, whether it is fit for use or not so what i will do is first of all i'll check that hood okay it's proper it, it's looking proper just have a visual inspection of your ducting and this from outer section of this okay that will be called as qualitative testing okay when we come to the quantitative testing so at the time we need to carry out lots of tests okay to in order to evaluate the performance of that now how we can evaluate the test i'm not going to discuss it more depth, but just giving you some idea first of all tyndall test tyndall test what it will tell us the movement of contaminant cloud okay generally worker is working here by putting his face like that so that particular cloud should not reach the worker's breathing zone breathing zone means this zone where we are breathing nearby our nose that is called a breathing zone so that particular contaminant cloud should not reach worker's breathing zone okay so we can visualize the movement of that particular contaminant cloud through the tyndall lamp afterwards what we can do is we can just measure the different type of velocity inside the ducting by using anemometers and different type of meters we can use over there to measure the velocity of that now after that we can check out the speed of that fan whether he have the sufficient speed or not to to reach that capturing velocity or not afterwards we can check the stack whether it is properly cleaned or not whether that drain lip is properly working or not as well as we can go for the internal inspection of that particular ducting to identify any corrosion areas or not okay guys now we have done with qualitative as well as quantitative testing now we will see some of the problems which can affect the performance of lev okay first problem is with hoods if your hood size is not proper it can affect your particular lev system it means your lev system will not properly work okay afterwards your ducting if ducting is not properly arranged okay if ducting size is not sufficient it have lots of bands sharp bands as i told you here sharp bands is there okay he have very small uh, you can tell it's a diameter so it will it can also cause total system problem or failure okay afterwards filter if filter is totally blocked okay you are not cleaning your filter properly at regular intervals then it also can cause the choke in that particular system okay your contaminant air will not flow properly and it can lead to explosions also dust explosion and all also now main factor is fan if fan is also not properly working it don't have any suitable speed and all okay so at that time it can also cause total system failure so these are the some points which can be asked to you in nibosh also because it is one of the crucial concept in nibosh so at that time now we have discussed with lev these systems and all 
now where it is used generally what is the application of that so see you guys majorly it is used where the oel occupational exposure limit or workplace exposure limit is very low okay very low in the sense if uh, uh, you can say it's a contamination generation rate cgr is high means the contaminants are generating very fast okay and you cannot go for dilution ventilation dilution ventilation in which we provide nat natural as well as artificial ventilation so we will go for that system okay now we can configure in various ways you can use that you can avoid that ducting and you can use a flexible hose if you want to make it more compatible okay so in welding processes smoldering processes in industrial applications we use that particular system so i hope you like that video okay so this is the full analysis of this topic if you like that video kindly share it with with your friends and stay tuned to our channel so thank you for watching have a nice day